Welcome to another Arius Wave update. So this is the first time I'm doing a really in-depth analysis of Ethereum. Now, I find it a very perfect time to talk about this particular market because I believe that we are about to see this one take off for, for a long time, okay? Now, the thing about this chart is that the pattern of wave one ended in 2017, okay? And then we saw a dip down, a B, so a dip down for A, a B, a C, a D, which just ended in Feb, followed by an E wave. So this is very critical for getting into this particular market, all right? So if you want to trade this up from somewhere, this is like now is we've had confirmation. <clears throat> so when it comes to Arius wave, it's basically once you complete the pattern, you break the wave E. Uh, the start of basically you break uh, the start of wave E and I usually put like a little line here like so it's usually dotted and it's usually like a purpley color right just just to get your attention and the stop is usually at the bottom at the uh, end of wave E right like so so this particular area is of importance because I believe this is like the entry, this is a stop. Okay, I, I know that might be pretty crazy, but in the grand scheme of things, this looks like it's going to go to the moon. Okay, so this looks like a perfect five-way move with a perfect expanded correction. Now, the reason why I call it expanded is because wave two didn't end anywhere near the end of wave one. So that correction is an expanded correction, right? Now, I am always revising my charts. So the first thing that comes to mind is why isn't Bitcoin doing this kind of thing? And I don't know. I really don't know. Like I, I haven't been able to see another pattern in Bitcoin. I haven't been able to really... Um, how can you put it? Make a bullish view because I really want to. I really want to make a bull because I believe there's, there's bullish across the board, right? But I, I, I just think that perhaps maybe there's a bit of too much hype going on there and I don't know. Look, I'm just trying to do what I can, but for, for when it comes to Ethereum, uh, recent developments in my analysis tell me that this thing is basically ready to rock and roll. Uh, it's ready to go so high that we can't even put a, a limit to it. There is no limit, right? I don't think there is a limit, to be honest. I reckon it's, it's probably going to go way beyond anybody's expectations. Uh, but the, I suppose the main thing is that um, the correction, I've identified it as being this. Um, from from the end of wave one to the end of wave two, to me, that's that's the most important thing here, right? If I can see a complete correction somewhere, then I'm going to say to you, yep, this is ready to go. We're, we're, we're done with corrections. Let's rock and roll, okay? So it's just one thing that you have to understand when it comes to my analysis. If I can see the pattern as complete, yeah, I'm bullish. I'm bullish now, now, now. Bye, 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 bye. Okay. Uh, I suppose, you know, that's a good thing, you know, because a lot of people are bullish. So, uh, but there are certain coins where I just don't see that pattern yet. And I think, oh, maybe, maybe it's going to happen soon, but don't expect all these things to happen at once, right? But right now, look, I can't say that it's not going to happen for Ethereum. I say, I reckon that it's about, I reckon it's already started. Okay. I reckon that move that happened up there, let's just quickly zoom into the four hour. 
right? I reckon this move here, that, you're not going to see prices lower than 600 and, say, 700, right? Because obviously I was zoomed out a bit there, but just say, let's just say 700, right? You know, you know, look, look at that. It literally just perfectly dropped to 700. Now, that must have been some kind of psychological level, if you ask me. But um, yeah, look, it's going to play around these highs at the moment. It's going to play around there because it's uh, obviously in a, it's in a correction right now. Like I can see a, a three, uh, three, four, three, three, five. Three. Look, it might just keep going from here. Okay, it might that might even be the E wave. Uh, sorry, that might even be the the E wave of the wave two right there. Right, potentially, potentially. Okay, let's not let's not discount that. So this area right here, the the stop at a lower level potentially. Um, could be there. Okay. So maybe there's something I'm missing on Bitcoin. Maybe I should go back through it again and again and again and again. But to be honest with you, I don't think so. If I do happen to find something, well, we'll get to it, right? But for Ethereum right now, it's looking extremely bullish. So hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Thank you for watching.